another side. But here we go. Inferno kicked off. T side star for FaZe. Bad News Eagles on the CT side. Quite spread out on the CT side at the moment. Peeking towards apartments, but Synopsy falls on back. As FaZe start to take the ground. Rain looking up towards top mid. Has Carrigan not that far behind him. Smoke over towards long as they start to take space. Leaving twist, Justin Banana. You can trust him with all of that responsibility. They're going to try and push Rig on early. Very vocal. Rig on close to the smoke, ready for some sort of action to come his way. He'll hide in the arch. Smoke starts to fade away. Faze pounds forward. Rigon gets the first headshot, swings out, hunts down the second player, and now they swing together. It's Rops on the double on the retreat, and they're looking back up Banana. Yeah, back to B. B and E was so ready for the long play. They try and counter with the aggression, but it's dealt with, and now there's only one player on this B side. Well, it's GXX on the coffins, looking to put a couple of Faze players in them. GXX hits the first headshot and retreats back to safety. He's damaged goods, and Faze put the bomb down. Yeah, right play here. They do have the kit, and they've gotten players here fast. Scenari, he's important that he finds the frag here and doesn't go down. Rotation now coming over from Synopsy. GXX, he's the low man, has to take the point as they swing on through. Twist up on high, has a good angle. Yeah, very strong position here for Twist. Brokey dancing in between the coffins and the site itself. Twist delivers two and Brokey will follow up. FaZe have the pistol. The first round is theirs. Twist with the special touch. Touching the pistol round. I'm telling you, man. Sharing that sync with Roban. It's done something for him. This counter aggression, though, it looks so good for B&E, right? They're ready for the long play. They have the flash to try and come in themselves, but they swing into Rops, who is ready to deal with it. Maybe if you were against another team on boost, but unable to get it on this occasion. As we mentioned in the pregame, GXX has been the star player for the NE. He had the RMRs. Not usually the man stepping up in that position with his AWP into this round. Can have some impact. Looking for the fight. Synopsy gets one. Carrigan immediately trained. And there's a flash coming through. Oh. Heichi over, removes Carrigan. GXX is still on this angle. Well, Bad News Eagles would be happy about being a player up in this position. Still lots of time, but not lots of players left for FaZe. Twist is also down, and Brokey's desperately looking for the site player. They're doing a decent job at hiding away, but you can't hide from Rops for long. He hunts down one flat throw. And Rigon, look at this. He senses a gap. Makes a few steps, but Rops has not detected him yet, and Rigon tracks him into the mini pit. He knows that there is a player there. Reacts on the first and the second collected, and they can get hyped. They've got their first round. Played to perfection as well, using the smokes and the chaos. GXX putting in a lot of work on Flatro with that double kill. But really, that 2k at the end, Rigon just getting there at the perfect timing, using that smoke to his advantage, taking the time with the discipline to let Rops escape, gets the first kill, and it's an easy second. Beanie get on the board when the guns come out. Yeah, really nice round at the end there from Rigon. I always think he's the one player on BE who most. And Twist with the MAC-10 going fast up Banana, trying to get in front of the smoke, finds Rigon, takes him down. And able to get back as well. Carrigan brought a little bit low in the process, but they'll take that. Seeing Twist shine early could be so big for FaZe on this map. Entering up Banana like that, if you can get those kills consistently, it makes a massive difference for you on your T side. And now look, they just come back towards A, where it's only Synopsy currently in position. A rotate is arriving, but it's going to be tricky here. If Synopsy goes down without a kill, it's going to be really difficult to recover this one. But luckily, Cash is ran alone. Alone in the bedroom. And now the rotate will fully arrive. Even a smoke. Yeah, Faye's in a tough spot now. Under a minute left, Carrigan is damaged up. They don't have a lot of utility. A smoke and a flash left. Make that just one smoke. And here they go. That one flash used very effectively. Lime Flatra overrun. Carrigan and Twist just shredding through the defense. And GXX has no other option. He has to save that all. Single flashbang sets up Twist. Comes on out the apartments with the MAC-10. Even upgrades to the M4 off the corpse of his opponent and finds a follow-up frag. Explosive from FaZe when it felt like everything was in the right position. Synopsy gets that kill. The rotations come through. The smoke in mid. Everything is set up for a perfect response to FaZe's strat. It falls flat in the face of Twists. This is a sharp start from Twists after a, a very quiet performance yesterday. Even expressing his disappointment in his performance recently. A 9-2 and two start in Inferno. He's got to feel good about that. It's been five rounds of play and he's got nine kills. Yeah, maybe this is just a matchup where Twists gets to get those aim fights. 
that he's so happy to take. It's rare to ever find a player that outmatches him in individual skill. Absolutely. Yeah, and I think for B and E, normally you assume this little hay bale position should be kind of good for holding, but you see, you just kind of get blinded when you're playing here. And you That's get it, why especially so many... with the Mag Ten as well, just flying over. Exactly. That's why so many players will play pit, for example. It's always satisfying, isn't it? it? Behind the half wall. Yeah. Well, the Bulgarians are arriving next week in ships. That's kind of his, uh, his signature move. We'll see a bit more of that next week. But Synops is going to have a go. No jumping. No it's jumping, max seven. but he's just going to sit by. Oh, turns away at the wrong time. Timing eludes him. Twist just walks around dry. Synopsy hits the deck. And now they're looking to try and pressure Sinari inside of the site. There's nothing really of value here on the site for Bad News Eagles. Should be relatively straightforward for FaZe to just walk their way onto the site, make sure they don't get caught by any stacks or pesky individual plays like what Rigon's doing right now. Twist hunts him. And that'll be FaZe locking him five. And GXX saving the AWP, but look at Rops. He's on the other side of the map. He could get rid of that. Yeah, I mean, they know it's there, so why not send Rops on the lurk, hunting for it, and there's so much time ticking on this clock. Feels like GXX is a dead man, even if Rops does take a little bit to get there. Although GXX is currently hanging around, looking for any exits here. And this might even be his undoing, Ooh. but that's a nice shot. Twist goes down. Orps position revealed, and the players two towards players Arch, Arch start to activate. The fact there's two heroes should confirm the Orp doesn't get into the next round. They should trade effectively, even if he gets one. GXX wrapping. There's a shot on Brokey. Actually, the spacing was a little bit off, so it does just get this in. Rops splinted off from his teammate, and he's gone into the fight and does stop that AWP from getting into the next round. I feel like this is going to be that B play. So now he's got a smoke here. It's going to go down at the perfect time. The boost up. Everything's in the right position. GXX even finds Rain on the lurk. Oh, Carrot is pressuring back to A. The bomb's coming with them. GXX hasn't left his position. 19 seconds, FaZe Clan looking like they're not going to be able to win this round or even fight for it. They realize the time is not there. They're going to have to cancel. I think maybe a little too slow in this round. They only open up that option back to B with about 40 seconds remaining. So once they try and come over towards A, they didn't really have the utility set up to move into top mid. Yeah, sometimes the round, round gets it. away from you. It happens. Money on both teams, a little uncomfortable now. Could be a swing round here in the half. Oh, good net stack here. Good idea for Bad News Eagles. They're running in. They're bringing the fight. And Carrigan, he's not. He's going to lose it. There's no fair fight oh. here. Finally, Twist just gets back up and he gets a double. They regress right into the Canadian. JXX comes back there. And he's still here. Wants to get his revenge. Twist is just sitting behind this half wall. This is impossible to clear with the AWP. Oh, no, so Twist. No, no, so it's a third kill towards B for Twists. The bomb can now come back. There isn't going to be four players here, right? So they're going to be sending that bomb, barreling back up bananas. Twist's job just to confirm control, consolidate it for a while. Even mollied on the rotate in. Don't get close enough, and Twist has gone oh even further forward. It's a 4K for Twists. And he might just get denied the ace because Synopsy should probably save here. Well, he's close. He's Ooh. close by. Broke his head, no longer attached to the rest of his body. And Twist is low, so he's retreating. He's playing this more safe inside of the site. Rain has a lot of utilities, in particular that Molotov, so he can use that into the late round. Smokes out CT, and there it is. All five for Twists. What a start he's having. Twists out here in full force. 17 kills in, what, eight rounds? That's mad, and this is why you put that smoke down, because you can so easily hold for the reswing. B and E don't really properly use utility to swing into that angle, and so if you put little smokes down like that, you can stand there. Behind the smoke, behind the half wall, getting into the rotates, picking them apart one by one, and well, it doesn't look like he's done. Singing another smoke, dodging utility, and oh yeah. Smoke fades, charges on through, gets the first one, looking for the transfer, but Rigon is able to get him back. Oh, they're fighting this, and they found three kills. Bad News Eagles, Brawl in Banana, and it's kill after kill, a two versus three established here. Rops and Rain, sure, have the AKs and plenty of utility, but B&E can win these kind of rounds. And if they go in towards the A site, well, there is one player still waiting for them. 
Juan Flatro with the MP9 realizes if he just sits back, it's more difficult to win the round. Whoa. But Rops can clutch. He's been known to win a few of them, and he's starting to pull no this way. back. One more, but Juan Flatro puts him in the ground. Rops does not complete the clutch. Again, again, Banny Eagles just running at their opponents, and it almost cost them the round. It did the round prior, where they gifted so many kills to Twist. This time around, Rops, you just know he's the man that's going to pull that off if you present it to him on the platter. One Flatro at least wins out that one duel, but that got so darn close. This was crazy. The fact they're just running down Banana, not realizing. So you have to know how to play from the site. It's not a lot of nades left here for B&E. Yeah, they used a lot on that Banana take. I guess they're just using the AWP here to peel away with the first. I mean, FaZe don't have many nades of their own, though. It's a different off angle taken for GXX, so they're going to likely peek on the CT angle, the commonly played one. He's a little bit wider. Now tucking back to the more standard position. And he misses the cross kill. They might just go right through it. Rigon from first oranges delivers a kill on Carrigan. A lot more needed from the B&E side. And the rotations are in. GXX quick shot on up. And his teammates are falling down around him. So he has to retreat behind the coffins. There's no ammo left in that big green gun. So has to reload and concede the site to phase. It's Brokey and Robs in the two versus three. Up on top of the fountain. Good angle, but drops off as the smoke fades. Repositioning now, using the other one as cover. They're unsure where these CTs are coming from, but a good read from Robs peeking on through, but it's as GXX swings. Has to be Brokey now. Back in the corner. Three players coming his way. Swings over the first. Has to swap to the block and can't quite connect. Unfortunate for Brokey that communication and one Flatro he's going aggressive down middle he's looking for this Ooh. first fight twist is not ready what a way to die when Flatro and GXX on the mid push pull it off for B&E and Sineri runs down banana aggression on all fronts and FaZe Clan get caught off guard a classic CD strap book play pull that one out every now and again one rifler pushes down the orb holds second mid and then the banana pressure as well once you start causing that chaos down to a T that perfectly executed Ricky and Rops now in a 2v5, and they have no control of anything. Oh, that's the sort of play you see Carrigan making sometimes on the CT side. It's the fact that FaZe aren't ready for it may be a little surprising. But at the same time, b &E didn't really use any utility in doing that. Whereas I see other teams now set up a lot of nades sometimes to make that happen. You can get involved in the polls on Blast.TV. You can vote for whether or not you think Twist can get a 30 bomb here. Most people do. 72% have voted yes. Easy peasy for him. You can do that again over at Blast.TV. But this round was open and shut pretty much from the get-go. And that's what we're talking about, Lucy, when we say bad news equals aggression. That's it. And it's calculated. It's not just wild individual plays. You can see the different layers of the aggression as to why it worked. And it's difficult to play against that. Yeah, you can see they were just completely caught off guard, just not expecting it out the gate like that. Rops is going to go down here as well. Takes a couple of bullets to do so. Brokey was considering the save, but... It's massive as well, because look at the money right now for FaZe. Yeah, it's going to be completely reset, which means, I mean, Bad News Eagles will be in the position to win out the half. Brokey might get the hold onto the AK, but I mean, look at these CTs through the walls. They are hounding his position. <laughs> they know they've got him in the kitchen. Here they come, running in. Rick on <laughs> runs by. Run Everything's being thrown at him. But mid, doesn't see anybody to open things up. It's quick from phase up banana. Carrigan with the tech nine is shredded early on. And there's no real issues here for B&E. They're confident to swing down banana and take themselves a few kills. It's just Robson and Rain left. Again, another 5v3 right from the get-go. That almost looked like a hard read. You got four players on B ready for the pistol aggression. B&E may be realizing that's the likely position for the pistols to try and get activated. They're ready for Robs. Oh, they were ready for Robs. Here he comes. Of course, Robs gets a chance. So now he's on 4 HP. They know where he is now. And they'll momentarily take him down. Techno tries his best to get something out of the round, but it's flawless. b &E feel very good about that. Six in a row for b &E on the CT side. All the momentum with them, and you can just feel it in the way these rounds are starting. It just feels like they're dictating the pace every single time in these last three, four rounds. Yeah, Twist has cooled down too, or forcibly cooled down by the second mid. They've got to be ready for this. Oh, they are ready. Rain is not going to be caught by aggression this round. Synopsy runs right out of the apartments and straight to his death. Opening kill for FaZe in round 15. See, GXX was interested in taking a peek through, but decides stay alive.
repositioning towards the apartments where his teammate had just gone down just in case that lurk comes through. But you can see FaZe just holding for any further aggression, knowing that Beanie in the disadvantageous position might want to try and take some ground somewhere, get that information. But at the moment, they're holding strong. Well, FaZe not looking to be at all. They're looking at this A site as the prime target. GXX up in the apartments. Rice will support behind him on the balcony. Here they come. Phaser walking right into this AWP. This setup could work really oh. well, but he's just left. He's just walked away. And now he's coming back, but it might not favor him. He's quick on the trigger, luckily, and now gets back. Now they're doubled up. And FaZe have to slow down because of the utility. Snary gets one out there. Peek from long, just gets the information. And oh. the frag, a Hops follow up back. from the fade back. And look at this AWP, what's going on? Rigon's, Rigon's on the T-Stairs. He's in T-Stairs, AWPing, 30 seconds left. He's completely blocked this off. They smoke and run past him, but there's a huge gap and he's used it. Robs goes down and Carrigan oh. is desperately charging towards B, but they are hounding him from every angle. Gets one. Well, short break at halftime. No reset. <laughs> Check like that it. someone's at the half wall. That's, That's the best fake That's flash cool. I've seen. That is actually a really cool idea. It's a good way of just they, they do it with a noise. decoy? Yeah, yeah, it was a decoy. Why not? That's a great way to get info. Broke in the apartment is not getting a lot of info. Snary let off the leash, just charges up alongside. Carrigan in the arch gets overrun, and now the V-split, it's fully on. Twist doesn't get anything in the pistol. And now Rain in the boosted position. He has to deliver something. It's the first and the second locked in, and he'll drop to the site. Corpses litter the B-bomb site. His might join them. GXX goes flying through and will remove Rain. It's down to Brokey and Rops to pull this one off. Brokey's already here, and he's oh. swallowed out. Comes and gets the bomb planted, but after the bomb, it has gone down. Rops and Brokey now have to piece this one together. Scenario, his position is known. Brokey helping to clear, and he swings on out, looking for the fight. Damage done. Brokey can now focus on this position, but the new box swing could come at any moment. A flash on over. Rigon is just tucked on in, and they walk into his crosshair, gets the first. The bomb ticking on down. Rops desperate for it, but Rigon delivers. Yeah, big pistol win there for b &E, and Rigon delivering oh, yeah. massive headshots towards the end. Get the guns out, boys. Let's go. They're hyped. We need to get the Cloud9 level tank tops True. out for BNE, I think. If they get to the last CSGO major, get the tank tops out, surely. The summer of BNE. Absolutely. Listen, Matt, FaZe had a pretty good read on this pistol. As you pointed out, Lucy, Brokey instantly flanked. GXX up to 16 kills. Rig on alongside him, having fantastic games. And now Brokey's scout instantly removed from the round. GXX doing it on the rifles now. Yeah, just shooting them in the head the simple way. Oh, counter strike here for BNE. Rob sits in the apartments. They've got nice. the info on that. Flam Flatcher doesn't need to go into the apartments at all. It's the worst place to go against this sort of round, right? This is where the SMGs and pistols are most potent. GXX is almost caught, caught up to twist right now. Just a couple of kills away from doing it. Not even doing it in this round. Rain's you mentioned close. that. It was the last round they picked up was the, the twist the ace round. Was that the last round he got a kill at this point? I it think feels so. Like it. Well, Rain's going to swing out from first oranges. And off seat with the MAC-10. He's the first to draw blood. Rain at least gets one, but it's just not enough to really stay competitive on this B side. The other two on the other side of the map. And so BNE will push themselves forward to 11. Starting to look very good for BNE now. Phase of phases pit. They've been completely out of control of this game. But at the, the start of the game, they were dominating. And then it just flipped a switch and they lost control completely. I mean, think of that last round of the first half. We didn't get to really talk about it going into the break, but that was crazy. I mean, Carrigan's running everywhere. There's someone in T stars. They're flushed. They're throwing a the smoke that doesn't land properly. Carrigan's sprinting around the wall. There's someone right in front of him. Fayez have no control or idea what's going on on the map at this point. B and E are making it really, really uncomfortable. It's weird there were a couple of rounds where they got caught off guard by the aggression. And early, you're right, it was like FaZe were reading the book, they knew exactly what was going on, and then at some point they just got lost throughout that half. And we said this earlier on, like, it's not like you don't know that Bad News Eagles are going to be throwing aggression at you, right? It, it's their thing. Yeah, we are going to obviously point that from the FaZe perspective, but you also give props to B&E. And, e. and I mean, we just talked about him being the rising star to the top. We'd love to step up here, and that's Whoa. exactly what happens. Bang! Two kills immediately 
in tandem for FaZe Clan. Now B and E start to panic a little bit. GXX at least pulls a kill back, but there's a 3v4 at hand. This position from one flash just could end everything there. He's managed to find his way into CT spawn. Broke, he's aware of it though, oh, and gets the lands. tag. Just 10 HP done back in response. And Carrigan, he's the one that catches him unaware. Scenario gets one back. Now on the side, it has to be Brokey. They're pincering him through. A single scout kill onto both will do it. The first comes on through. Scenario with two HP actually gets past him. And Rops is running through flames. Scenario, a bomb plant assured. But surely, no, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Rops comes on through. And FaZe finally break the silence. Yeah, that's a good round. That that came out of nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. Those two shots, Hawker, I have no idea how they both came through at the exact same time on polar opposite ends of the map. Oh, they do stray into the apartments. That we is literally the earlier. exact same time. Yeah, crazy. And you do wonder whether that's the round phase needed. And they set themselves up at top banana, confirming that control with the top smoke. So phase no. And B and E at least have some presence. Over towards this side of the map, but the bomb is slipping its way out top mid, and Brokey's just rotated off, leaving a big gap. They could split this A site in two fronts. They could wrap long and put pressure on Robs and Twists. I feel like FaZe have gambled B, because B&E just used their last smoke towards that B site. They're not expecting this A play. This has to be Robs and it has to be Twists, and they have to do it right now. Twist swinging on out, low HP, finds one, wow. and a headshot on the scenario. Robs finds the other two. FaZe, and they've got a buy back. The rifles once again in the hands of the B&E players. Instant extinguish. Nade still coming. I think that will go too far though. Snopsy really wants this. Oh, Whoa. fantastic flash. Hunts down one. Props hunting as well. They walk straight in the headshot angle. He hits those every day of the week. Falls on back with that man advantage. Rigon though, fighting back in. Carrigan overstepping, wanting the information. Wow. Scenari steals one from Rops. And suddenly it's starting to crumble here for FaZe, just two defenders left. When B&E get a T side round going, it is rapid. It is so difficult to put away. It almost feels vicious from the Bad News Eagles. Twist is still alive and we can't count him out with the form he's on right now. Spacing sucks here. Yeah, they, it really has separated them into 1v1s and Twist peeks out just at the right time. I would not bet against this man to hold the site. Oh, he goes out, sets himself up with a flash and gets another kill. Brings it down to just Sinari and Brokey can absolutely win this clutch now because of Twists. He's got a smoke and an HE left and Brokey gets into the CT smoke. Sinari was reading it. He's dropping back into a better position and Brokey walks right through. Twist gets the double, Brokey sends it down the river. That feels a bit more like the B&E of old. You get the aggressive plays, you get the headshots, but the composure in the late round has to be better. You can't just send Rigon in alone like that. You can't let Twist have time to set up a flash for his own peak. He's alone on B. All you've got to do is trade him, but B&E can't convert the three on two. Chris thanking his lucky stars. That first kill was just gifted to him. Tech Nines, a deagle. And one flat throw running right through the top mid. Molly right into Twist, who actually nearly manages to get the second kill. GXX does very well there. He'll walk away Whoa, with a kill and an upgraded B. weapon. And they have just left B. They've dropped back fully into spawn. No has way. opened up a chance for B&E just to walk on by. Yeah, that's Long was wild. completely open. They're so worried about a wrap because that's what B&E have done so many times. The bomb hasn't got across. Now the smoke will come in, but Synopsy is so deep, and that was his chance, and he'll still capitalize on it. Rain gets caught, gun down, and this is Bad News Eagles thanking their lucky stars. Why is the B side open, they ask? Well, they don't care anymore. They just have to try and close this round out, and they are doing it right now. Carrigan's fallen, and they can't do anything about this. Fades have to stomach a ridiculous round loss. That is wild. They leave B entirely, and it almost looked like B&E planned for exactly that. The way their A players literally get the one kill and instantly turn around because they have their players so far up banana. That was beautiful. The timing of that was perfect from B&E. I think there's an additional worry there. If you're phased, right, when a Tech 9 bursts through a smoke, takes down one of your players, suddenly they've got a rifle, you've heard multiple footsteps, you're worried. This is a fast play onto A, right? And you want Meanwhile, to banana has been taken by B&E. Flash through does get a little bit of information, but so early on, Nothing spotted. Retake utility going through towards top banana. Although they're not peeking off the back of it. Just waiting to see if that Molotov would flush someone forward. But instead, b &E, happy to sit behind it. They've got GXX on top of the logs peering on over. In fact, it's the boost for that extra bit of elevation. He's not spotting anything here. 
Here they come now. Here's the retake of Banana. And it's going to be, oh, an instant kill for GXX. Luckily, Carrigan is able to keep that tread even. Oh, Snopsy burning a bit down to 60. I think FaZe were happy to go dry there because they know Brokey has rotated in with the AWP. So it's almost a bait for B&E to try and push into this AWP. Hasn't happened, though, and now they know the Sniper is there. So what did B&E do with that extra information? Brokey's a little worried. That rotation over, it's opened up long again. You can see B&E have just really put this into the back of their heads that that's such a concern. Now they all group up as a unit. The sole defender here, Carrigan, has to do it all, getting in front of the smoke. Oh, oh and he's caught off in two mines, and now he has none. Splattered all over the floor. Brokey throws one through the smoke, but it doesn't connect. Surely a save. Oh, Brokey's still hanging around. He may go for a pot shot and just see if he can deny the bomb plant, which he won't. Twists and Rops have already committed to that save. Brokey is in a bit of a precarious position. He is going to start to fall away. Ouch. This is damage awkward. as he goes. This is really uncomfortable for the AWP. Yeah, it doesn't feel good in this spot, does it? I mean, you do have money in the bank, but you still want to save this sniper. They're going to come check him for him. They see him. They know he's there. And Brokey will not be able to save the sniper. And he'll be swiped away by Bad News Eagles. And so will another round. It's again one of these rounds where it feels like B&E just have phase busted. They don't really know how to respond to these situations. They've got kind of the wrong timing reads on all these hits. I think it's the pace of the game. Uh, it feels like FaZe haven't matched it right now. They're, they're struggling to deal with the sheer speed of some of the plays that are coming at them. But this is a good shot. Would have probably been... Uh, it's interesting. They use the utility to set up a, a retake in the banana. They don't actually use it in B&E. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, three man B stack for phase. Surely we'll do a oh. bit of damage. Goes both ways. Rain. Ooh, an opportunity there for a moment. Fumbling grenade. Swings on out. Scenario. Carrigan. Oh, Carrigan Ooh. gets two and he's looking for more. Spamming on three. Doesn't quite connect onto Rigon. So he is able to escape. Carrigan, oh my oh. god, GXX just throws an orb shot through the smoke and connects. Oh, Carrigan so... tried so hard to spam that smoke and then just a one orb <laughs> shot gets him back. Yeah, GXX like, I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> Sends it right through one bullet, perfectly accurate. Carrigan put to sleep. Minute and five seconds left. Bad News Eagles start to drift over towards this A site. Currently, it's Rops playing from Graveyard. Now, this position is so strong. It's really difficult to get a player out of here. He's got help out towards the library as well. Brokey's there with the AWP. A perfect setup Keep for an eye on Twist this hit. Too. Twist could start to get round, round the back. Once the information is gathered, they are committing in towards this A site. But Rops will be the first player to contest the Bad News Eagles play forward. Off the balcony, Ooh. they Molotov. Rops, he gets one, tries a second before burning away. It is Rion who connects the AWP shot. Now they know where Brokey is. They know they've got him pinned in the cubby, so it almost has to be Twist to make the play, and he's still a long way away, finally arriving towards top middle, and Brokey just staying alive. Twist making some noise. Oh, that Molly's going to be good. Rigon's not in a position to have the health to stand in it, so he has to drift wide. He's looking for this fight. Goes for it. Twist gets caught, and Brokey hits the deck. 14 rounds. Will be on pistols. Twist, in particular, on the USP. He'll be the carrier of the utility. He's got to take something magic here in rain. Offers up one. Second kill nearly connected. Very unfortunate not to walk away with it. And FaZe getting destroyed upon this B entry from Bad News Eagles. There's still that rifle though. When two players, three below half, can do a lot. If he gets mobile and rookie here with the Deagle. Low health on the plant. Uh, I don't think oh, he can do it though. Not going to spam. Oh. Not even going to find it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Rops, no incentive to go for this. Yeah, he's nowhere near that. So I'll save that M4 again. But right now, B and E up to map point. This is FaZe's map pick. Yeah, I think it's important to contextualize that. Firstly, FaZe's map pick. Secondly, this is a map FaZe hadn't lost this year until yesterday against Na'Vi. They've beaten Cloud9 on this map. Liquid, some big names. It's been one of their home maps. And for B and E to come in like this, so impressive, and Rops can't even get the kill at the end. B&E know they are in a fantastic position to steal away the first map of this series. I think it was 6-2, and now it's only... Snopsy runs up banana. Quick start here for B&E. 
Bounce that half full smoke. That's actually a smoke. Carrigan popularized oh, to try and look at this. through. But Rain tries to pop through. Carrigan backs him up, but it's not enough. The, the aggression hasn't worked for FaZe. Twist is going to stay atop banana. Synopsis not committing because the bomb's over towards A. Twist. Oh, he's going to get spotted. That's oh, the Molotov. He's burning dead. him in the corner. He's dead. He's out of there. Knocked out. B and E just have two more plays to find. And they're still committing A. They're still going to where there's the best chance for FaZe right now. Wild. But they they're don't leaving. Think it's a. Rops of is leaving. They don't. There's no way they would think this. And so they're running over to try and get back to the B side in now time. And now it. they realize. Now they have to come back. Brokey's heard it. Rops, he's coming on through. The bomb still has to get across. The oh. smoke, oh, one flash through. Broken now, the only hope left. He's dropped the bomb. CSGX had for